Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from the ECF Forums and host of Vape TV. How you guys doing, baby? Forget about it. Oh, I tell you, man, man, let me tell you, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So how you guys doing over there? I tell you. Oh, man. Let me tell you, for me, as an FYI, man, things have been crazy. I've been looking for a place. I got to move, so I'm busy transitioning to that. Also, I'm possibly looking for another job, yep, because they're not going to be able to renew my contract, so I am looking for another place, so it's, um, it's been a big, big toil, but one thing that I'm looking forward for, putting that aside, but all that BS drama, right, I'm putting that aside because in a couple of weeks, you know what's coming up? In 10 days, in 10 days, forget about it, we got VaporCon, we got... VaporCon, baby. Oh, yeah. All the way out of Virginia, Dallas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forget about it. Oh, at the Claremont. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, Friday to Saturday, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hope you guys are going to be there at VaporCon because I know I'm going to be there. It's going to be one hell of a bash. One hell of a bash. But you know what? Today's video isn't really much about VaporCon. It's really about the Hanamon! Ooh, forget about it. We're going to be talking about the Hanamon, the new Hanamon. Yes, yes. The first, the first device in the market right now, okay, that will adjust your Addy temperature-wise. Temperature-wise, baby, it won't burn the cotton. It won't burn the cotton. So all you noobs out there, all you newbies out there, forget about it. You don't have to worry about burning your cotton. We've been telling you 50 million times, why does the juice taste dirty? Because you burnt the cotton. Yep, okay. So we got a device right here, finally. Okay, first time, first one in the market. Yes, we're going to be talking about the Hannah Mod. This is the new one. It has been released today. Yes, yes. And it ranges from either 250 to 260 depending on shipping, where you actually get it. So, this is the box. This is what you get. It's in bubble wrap, baby. And it also comes with your little charger, and it comes with some wire. Yes, because there is a surprise. There is a surprise. To get this to work in temperature control, you have to use nickel wire. You have to use nickel wire. But you know what? Yeah, in other words, you have to use a non-resistance wire. I'm not Hannah, and I'm not Brandon from Evolve, okay? Hey, Hannah was the one that put the chip on here, and it was Brandon, okay, from Evolve that made the chip, okay? So let's get things straightened out over here, okay? But first, mm. Woo, that felt so good, didn't it? All right, getting back to this. Yes, man, we got to get back to this. Let me, let's bring this down, baby. Okay, so, as I said, in the box, this is what we get, okay? We get the bubble wrap Hanna, yep, yep, yep. We get the charger, yep, 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 and we get the wire. So, let's put the wire and the charger on the side, and let's take a look at the Hanna. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Come on. So, this is how she looks. This is the matte finish Hanna. Let's see if I can, uh... If I can zoom this in, focus it up a little. There we go. So this is how she looks. Mm -hmm. Yes, made in the USA. Yep, yep. Okay, and there's your little charger. Okay, it's the little micro. Now, this is the same size as pretty much as the previous Hannah. Okay, so this is the one before it. Okay, with DNA uh, 30, and this is the DNA 40. Okay, the difference between the two, obviously, 10 watts. You get 10 watts, baby. 10 watts. In addition to that, you also can actually fire this up at 0.10 ohms. Yes, from 0.10 ohms. And you can actually use this on a minimum of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's the temperature as far as the limitation. And maximum is 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so, you know, you have... The playroom of adjusting your temperature so that you don't burn your cotton. Um, I believe cotton, um, some some folks are going to be setting it like typical at 450 degrees. Um, and you can actually adjust it from there, raising it 600. Or you can turn that off and just use the DNA 40 by itself. You have that option. Okay. But f first things first, we have to put a battery in here. 
<laughs> right? It would be great if it comes with a battery, but it doesn't. So let's unscrew this bad boy. And the finish on this is just so nice. This smooth finish. Now this is all aluminum casing that Hannah is using. And here we go. So as you can see from the inside, okay, so he put in the stickers, okay, so it would be actually void uh, warranty if this has if this is tampered with okay if you actually remove these stickers and you move this place where the the chip is stays um, you're gonna avoid the warranty okay um, another thing uh, to keep in mind is how he soldered the connection points look at that that's beautiful he actually soldered uh, right here on the on the uh, the positive side see that look at that it's just so so beautifully done and the one in the negative, same thing. It is just totally, totally, totally exceptional work. That's 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 awesome. Now he also provides a 90-day warranty uh, on these devices. Okay, 90 days only. Okay, and it's only against manufacturer defects. Um, and if you only purchase it through an authorized dealer, authorized dealer. So that means if you didn't buy this from an authorized dealer, guess what? All bets are off. Yep. Mm-hmm. All bets are off. Mm-hmm. Forget about it. So you really want to get this from an authorized dealer. Um, I mean, this one was from Mo Vapes. Uh, I have to say thanks to Ladu, um, the owner of Mo Vapes. He's carrying them. He released them today. He's going to be getting a whole lot more next week. So anybody else that missed out on their orders because they were going like hotcakes, totally like hotcakes today. Um, now you still have the the same features, but before anything what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in an SX30 in here um, There we go, so let's put that on And just clamp this yep, I have it on the right side so Screw this in now, just like on my previous on the DNA 30, I like charging this by removing the battery and putting in the charger. To me, it just charges a whole lot quicker putting in a regular charger than just using USB. Um, but that's my preference. So it's really up to you, or you can use the charger or any particular charger from the cell phone. Same thing, it's just micro USB. Except if you have the iPhone, then you're shit out of luck. Ha! Okay. Hello, Android phones. Goodbye. Okay, so let me hit the power button, and there it is. So we get to see, see if I can uh, focus that for you a little bit better so you can actually see the display. There we go. So it goes up to 40 watts, okay? And you can actually adjust it down if you wish, all the way down that you like. So you have a range from uh, up to 40 watts. Now, you still have the the same locking which is five clicks one two three four five oh it may need oh no no addy okay locked see locked so now when it's in lock mode what you actually do is you press and hold these two buttons so that you can access the the temperature control yeah the temperature control wouldn't that be cool to access the temperature control so let me see if i can focus that a little bit better so i can show you the menu a little bit clearer okay so i'm gonna hold down these two buttons See, hold to change temperature and just wait. There it is. So I have, it's on off mode. So now I'm gonna turn it on. There you go, see 600 degrees. That's 600 degrees and I can adjust it all the way down that I like from 200, starting from 200 all the way up. And typically it's usually at 450. So I can leave it there and then hit the lock button, boosh. Now it's set for 450 degrees, okay? Now the same, um, uh, get uh, features from the previous model which is locking also for stealth mode right mode lefty mode uh, power power lock mode um, if, if you hold if you hold the fire button so now as I hold this one and the fire button down for five seconds there it is normal mode and now it should be switching to stealth mode there it is so now it's in stealth mode two three four five see it's in stealth mode now okay so that's the same one two three four five to lock and then you press these two down together which is the down button 
and now it goes back to normal mode see so now it's an actual normal mode okay um, now you still have also the um, to switch it uh, if you want to actually go to right mode or left mode and that's by holding the up button here and the power button but first you got to keep it locked though so now it's locked so now I'm gonna hold these two down see left mode now it's gonna switch to right mode there we go now it's in right mode okay so I'm gonna press it down again so I can switch it back now it's in left mode okay now it's back to left mode um, now from the lock mode and pressing down both and up buttons for two seconds now that would be adjusting the temperature which I already showed you so again just to show you one more time remember it's in lock mode so I'm gonna hold these two buttons down at the same time and with the fire button and it should be oh wait it's not hold on okay let's try this again why isn't it showing my temperature hold on oops duh I'm an idiot okay yeah no fire button my bad so there you go so now we're in the temperature menu so it's not using the fire button okay so I'm gonna leave it at 450 okay and I'm gonna set it there we go so now it's set for actually 450 okay now the same error messages from check atomizer weak battery uh, and then you have another for temperature protection um, and again the coils if the coils uh, are going to light up and it maxes out of temperature it's going to stop it's not going to fire while you have this on so that's a cap right now so you can actually set this let's say at 40 watts and you're not really going to be using 40 watts because it's going by temperature yeah get that mm -hmm. so being it's at 450 degrees I can actually unlock this there we go so I can actually max this out to 40 just give me an example okay and then when I fire it with the atomizer on and again I have to use nickel wire on the Addy it would actually automatically adjust to the temperature maxing I'm trying to t say I would like 40 watts but it cannot pass 450 degrees Fahrenheit if it passes 450 degrees Fahrenheit, no matter what wattage, the highest wattage it can get up to is 40, but maybe it's at 12 watts, maybe it's at 15 watts, maybe it's 22 watts, but it just, it automatically changes on its own on the fly. That's how this works. Absolutely. Oofa. So now let's get an Addy together and let, let's, let's get going. Forget about it. So let me put this on the side here and um, just to show you something. This is an Addy that I have already. Now this is not using nickel. This is using straight up regular canthal. But it's at 0.3 ohms. Okay? Which is fine. 0.30 is fine. It would actually fire because this fires minimum of 0.10. But as you're going to see right now, I'm not going to be able to use temperature control. Okay, so if I fire this, so I can show you, see it's at 40 watts, and it's firing at 40 watts, but it's not actually going to be doing anything as far as temperature control. Let me see if I can focus that a little bit better. See? 335 volts is what it's firing at 40 watts and that's it it's not going to do anything as far as temperature control even though um, I'll show you two three four five it's on lock mode and I hold to change the temp see it's at 450 440 degrees it's not off I can actually raise it up to 600 and I can set it there. If I want it off, I would go one more. See, and that would be off mode. But I'm going to leave it at 600. So, one, two, three, four, five. Now it's unlocked. And as you can see, see, it doesn't, it doesn't use temperature settings. Okay? So, just to give you a heads up. If you're not using nickel wire on this actual device, you're not going to be able to use the temperature feature. Okay? Now, which is okay. 
So if you're actually interested in getting 10 more watts on this mod, you can actually use it the way it is with what you have. Because let's get real here. If you have mesh, okay, if you're running Jennies, or what if you're running um, a cardo tank, okay, like let's say the fluid flasks, okay, the cardamizers, if you're putting in cardamizers, the cardamizers are not coming in in nickel wire, okay, they don't come in nickel wire, no, they come in either um, with nichrome or uh, cantal wire, okay, so um, that's, that, that's one thing to look at, okay, or they're using another kind of wire, but it's definitely not a low resistance wire. Okay, those are high, those are resistance wires. So you have to use a non-resistance wire to actually build your coils now. Okay, now, which we're going to actually do, we're going to do. Okay, so let me get an atomizer together and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to use the wire that came with it and I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do about a few wraps here. That's just three, this is four, this is five. This is six. All right, I'm gonna try seven wraps. And eh, why not? Let's go eight, nine, ten. Now, I got ten wraps here. Now, the thing with low resist, non-resistance wires, is that. The, the ohms is so low on these low resistance wires. They're very, very low, like super low. So it's going to be very difficult for folks if they want to do dual coils um, because it, it's just, it, it's going to then reduce it even more. So we're going to be looking more like single coil builds for, for this kind of uh, setup over here. Um, and the other thing is the wires are so thin so thin that they're very easy to break they're extremely fragile okay so just to show you see i got 10 wraps right now okay that i'm putting in on my cyclone okay from vicious ant so that's that's what i'm going to be applying here um it's a total of 10 wraps And all I'm doing is just giving it a little bit of a snug. Just like that. And um, start screwing this down. You know, it's like you could hardly tell if it's really tightly screwed because the wires are so thin. Okay, so if I release the locking. Now, just to show you. There we go. See, it's 450 degrees Fahrenheit that's showing right now. And I set it for maximum for 40 watts. Okay, so I'm going to fire it. And as you can see, see, it ranges temperature protected. It won't, it, won't, it won't pop the coil. And it won't allow the coil to get red right now. Okay. Temperature protected. Now, I would have to cool this off. Okay, so now if I fire it again, see, once it starts heating up, temperature protected. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some cotton to this. And this is coming out at 0.2 ohms. Are you seeing that right here? Let me show you that. 0.2 ohms for 10 wraps. 0.2 ohms. Okay, for 10 wraps. See? And I have the temperature control from 450 degrees. Okay? Just to show you. 
Now I can actually raise it um, again, leaving it on lock mode. One, two, three, four, five. Pressing the two buttons here. And I can raise it up higher. Say 520. And let me unlock it. And now I can see 520 degrees Fahrenheit. And I can fire it up. And the coil. See that? It doesn't even turn red. Temperature protected. Okay, so let me add some cotton to this. Um, and as you can see, it does heat up the coil because, you see that? See where the burn is right now? So it does heat up the coil. Okay. So, let me add some cotton to this. Rolling up some cotton. Put it right through, just like that. Very gently pull on it. And then what I'm going to do is hold this side as I give it a little bit of a yank. There we go. So it's a little bit more resistant. Okay. Just like that. So I'm adding some juice right now, okay, so I can actually finish adjusting my cotton. So this is how it looks. So I added some cotton underneath the wraps, plus what's going in, and the one that's going over the tube. Okay, so I got plenty of cotton there. So now, of course this is my Vicious Ant Cyclone that they uh, provided for me from Vicious Ant. And um, I'm just going to leave it. with one and the other side closed because it's single coils so I'm going to put it right on like so put my drip tip on there and let's have a vape okay so I'm just going to add some more juice and that now I have the cap on so all right, so I'm going to start this off at, let's do 25 watts so we can break in the wick, okay? And it's at 520 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's see how she produces. Let's see how she, you know, she works right now. Forget about it. Let me just see. Okay. Wow. Oofah. 
So, just to show you again, we're at 25 watts. at 520 degrees Fahrenheit and she is hitting wow now I'm gonna tell you right now this is 25 watts at, at 450 degrees it's not giving me an indication of voltage okay um, but I can tell you it's a very cool, very cool, satisfying vape. Okay, I'm not getting anything like a sub ohm kind of, a, you know, vape because this is very different. This is, this is a game changer. This is definitely a game changer, guys. I'm telling you, it's a game changer because now, you know, we've been always used to wattages and volts. You know, how much are we doing at sub ohms? If it's point four, point. You know, and, and this thing is going to, this is 0.2 ohms, 0.2 ohms, okay? And, and she's firing at 25 watts. Um, well, it ranges. It's not a full 25 watts. It's at the at the temperature of, for, matter of fact, I should show you this when, when I'm firing it. Because you actually see the temperature, like it starts low. And it starts going high, and it goes to what you set it to. That's it. Okay. So let me. Yep. Let me. Let me see if I can show you. Okay. So it's 520 degrees Fahrenheit. So when I press the power button, look at the Fahrenheit. See that? 191, 4, 397, 405, 411, 412, 417. See that? It keeps adjusting on its own, and it still hasn't gone to 500. Oh, but it's getting, it's getting there. It's getting to 500, 490, 480. You see that? But it, it caps it also with two things. Two things to keep in mind. The way, the way this is working is that you, I have it at 25 watts, so it cannot go over 25 watts. Also, it cannot go over 520 degrees Fahrenheit. So which of the two... Um, caps out the other it all depends on the temperature of the coil if, if the temperature coil cannot reach up to 25 watts because the cap is 25 I mean if the temperature of the coil cannot reach the 520 degrees because of the, the limitation of 25 watts then that's capping it um, vice versa is the same thing if I set this to say 40 watts right now then it's going to automatically cap once it gets to 520 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so it's it's a little bit of a leverage between the two. But at, at 520 degrees Fahrenheit, and as you can see, look at look at the, the the coil and the cotton. Look at that; it has not changed color. I can leave this firing, 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 firing. And as you can see right here on the screen, I'm going to do that right now. So as you can see, it's 25 watts, 520 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll just keep firing, firing, firing. My hand is getting warm. My hand is getting warm, but still, it's still firing, firing, firing. And as you can see, there is no burn, nothing. There is no burn. See that? Look at that. You're not burning the cotton, guys. It is a game changer. You're not burning the cotton. See that? Boof. Temperature controlled. You saw that? Because it reached 520 degrees. So that means either the cotton's already dry, which actually, check it out. It is dry, but it didn't burn the cotton. So what I got to do right now is add more juice. So let's add more juice. So I just added a lot more juice. And of course, you have the option to dis excuse me, to disable the temperature control. But believe me when I tell you, I think you're going to like it. You're going to really like it. Now, however, if you have 
um, if you don't have nickel wire, you're not going to be able to use temperature control. Mm. I'm really liking it. This this came out really good. Now I'm going to raise the wattages. So let's let me raise it to 30 watts. So now it's at 30 watts. Can you see that? Ah, come on, Cam. Focus. So now it's at 30 watts. So. Mm. Oh, really nice. Really nice. Let's raise it up some more. So let's go to, let's screw it, let's go all the way up to 40. Bingo, 40. There's the 40 and 520 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. Oh, we need some more juice. So, <laughs> this is a game changer. It's a game changer. Mm. You know what I love most in this world? This particular juice right now. And this thing is just making it delicious right now. I'm using Epicus Nebula. This is to Nick the General. Mwah. I love this juice right now. I love this juice. Ufa. awesome job baby you did a fucking awesome job now those those are the points the keys the highlights that i wanted to talk about but now let's look at this in another angle shall we yes absolutely now what about mesh what about jenny's jenny's will work on here yes however you know, to use nickel wire, non-resistance wire, and mesh, that has yet to be experimented on. So I will be experimenting on that in another video. Um, I will see how I can get it to work without using cotton, just using mesh. Using mesh, and we'll see if we can get the temperature control to work. Just using mesh, because a lot of us love to use mesh, okay? As far as on a Jenny. I mean, that's really what a Jenny's made for. For me on mesh, man. Not on cotton. No offense for, you know, as far as for anyone that likes it in cotton. But really, for that, just get into an RBA like this. Just set the going. You know what I'm saying? Because those Jenny devices are really meant to be on mesh. Mm. I tell you. At, you know, I'm really enjoying this a little bit lower than 40 watts. I'm going to have to lower it because it's drying up that section of the cotton fast, a little too fast. Um, let me try 32 watts and see. Yep, here we go. I like it at 32 right now. Oh man, it, it's 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 a interesting concept, a very interesting concept from Brandon, dude. You did fucking awesome, bro. The very first device, temperature controlled, and I can see this being, you know, um, as far as safety wise. I mean, th this this is this should be FDA approved because it it would prevent you from a blowing up your battery. Okay, and as you can see, we're at 
1.2 ohms, okay? And that's 10 wraps. Now, maybe I can squeeze another two or three extra wraps, but it all depends on the atomizer that you're using. I used one of the smallest Addies, one of the smallest Addies, which is the Cyclone, um, just to see if it would actually work, just to give it the challenge. Okay, now if I would use a Helios, if I would use a Tobe, if I would use a Stellar, if I would use any other atomizers that have a wider base, okay, that means you can add more than 10 wraps to it, okay? But I wanted to see on the smallest Addy um, of, of a challenge to see if it would actually work, and, and it did. So it did work on my, on my uh, Cyclone right here, so as you can see. Next challenge is going to be the Jennies for temperature control. We'll see how that works. But again, this will not work on a cardo tank. If you have a cardo tank, okay, the temperature control will not work on cardos unless those wires are different. They're not uh, resistance wires, but non-resistance wires. So, which means you can also use silver if you wanted to because it's non-resistant. That should also work. Maybe I'll do a video with silver. Um, you know, just using silver on here. I have plenty of silver, but I don't know how it will ohm out. Okay, so I would have to test it out and see. Wow. Not, I'm telling you, taste-wise, I am... I noticed something different. Taste-wise, yes. I've been vaping this juice for quite some time. I can tell you. I can taste something different. It has to, has to do with the wire. Mmm... Could be, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's a little different, but it's not to the point that it's bad, uh, bad tasting. No, it's just I noticed the flavor a little different. That I have to say, I do notice the flavor a little different though. Ooh, so I do thank you so much from Mo Vapes. They're gonna be carrying more of these in stock um, in in the coming week. They're getting another shipment, and oh man, and I also got the general from them, so they also have Epicus Nibula. Mmm, I love their waffle, and I love the general. General, to me, is like, <laughs> man, excellent, baby, excellent. So with that, guys, you know, I would love to stick around, chat some more, but, you know, some of you guys are going to kill me if the video extends so long as it is already, but, um... Um, you know, I haven't been around much. I do apologize for that. Um, I've been looking for another job and a new place at the same time. So it's been eating up a lot of my time right now. Um, but I am still part of the vaping community. I still have a lot more things to review. Um, as I get a chance, I'll keep doing it. But right now, I'm just trying to get a place. Um, and also, we got VaporCon coming in 10 days. In 10 days! In 10 days! VaporCon, baby! So with that, let me let you guys go live hard and vape hard. Oofah.